welcome to another Confessions of Room 3428. Um, it's Abby Day. Welcome to Friday, people. You made it. Congratulations. Let's give you a hand. Ow, she's a breath. Ow. She's mighty, mighty. Just letting it all hang out. I'm trying to do this quietly because it's about 1.30 in the morning and my roommate's sleeping. So I have a few questions to answer. MJ, I loved your question for this week. Loved it. I just thought it was hilarious. It's a really good question. I was just talking to Hope um, and I was also talking to my friend Mike, who you guys don't know, um, but Hope from Leaky. And she came up with um, cups hath runneth over. <laughs> and <laughs> my friend Mike came up with my third flotation device. So I'm torn between the two. But I really, really like them both. So that's, if I ever got a boat, it'd be, I might have to just get two. Um, Kim, you want to know about our pets? As I said before in my silent vlog, uh, Tyler was my first dog. Um, he was the best dog ever. And I now have two dogs at home, which are both Shetland Sheepdog and a Collie. Um, so they look like Lassie. And um, love them, but they bark so much. And I have a cat at home as well. Her name's Tasha. She's gorgeous. Um, but other than that, I've never really had anything else pretty much it. I used to love bugs when I was younger. I had like a bug barn. I was called like nature sister at camp and stuff. Lisa, what makes me an adult? Mm, that's a hard one. I guess breaking up with Mo, my ex-fiance. Um, I was 19 years old. He proposed to me when I was 18 and I was a very a hard thing for me to do but I knew that it was best for me even though I was still in love with him at the time because it, it wasn't like it went sour I, I broke up a perfectly good relationship because I knew I was too young and I knew that if we were really meant to be together we'd be together just at a later date it was really tough for me just because I knew it's what I should do that really made me think even though I didn't necessarily want to do it, I felt like I had to do it for my own good. And so that was really hard. That was really hard. Um, but I, I still don't regret it. I think it was a really good decision. Andy, I commented on your video that you posted. Um, well, this is just selfish of me. But I think you should redesign the quest site. I've HTML coded the whole thing. I've done everything, you know, I've made all the graphics in Photoshop and then I literally have coded every single pixel of that website by hand. Um, so it's, it's not like it's not functional. It works well. It looks much better than some purely HTML coded things that I've seen in the past. I'm really proud of it um, for how simple it is, the structure anyway. Um, but it's been like that ever since I graduated from high school. So that's been three years and I think it really needs a facelift and I wish I had the tools and the ability to make it better and organize it better. It's literally like me just coding everything. So if you feel like doing that, you're more than welcome. So my question for the week is, what do you do when you treat yourself? Do you go shopping? Do you go shopping for a specific thing? Or do you go get massages or pedicures? Do you go out and get ice cream? When you think you deserve a pat on the back, what do you do for yourself? Oh, by the way, um, as you can see, I rearranged my room. Here we go. Love you guys. I miss you. I wish you were here.